The ongoing Akron Interbelt project was the topic of discussion at the January 18th meeting of the AMAT Citizens Involvement Committee, or CIC. Akron planner Dylan Garitano briefed the committee on the status of the $19 million project, which will improve access to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and upgrade nearby Dart and Rand Avenues. There was a lot of good points that were brought up today, and I think that a lot of things need to be addressed as we continue to plan for the future with this project because there's a lot of moving parts here. Because the project is one of the major infrastructure improvements underway in the greater Akron area, AMATS officials felt that an update before the CIC was not only timely, but necessary. I thought it was very informative. Uh, I love that they showed sort of uh, two approaches. You know, and all this, there's been a lot of design work being done and a lot of community engagement, and then so they showed very well that there's uh, two perspectives. Akron officials expect that the project will do more than improve vehicle access to downtown when finished later this year. Akron's Mike Tiadecki says that the city began reassessing what to do with its inner belt back in 2001. The highway was originally intended to handle over 100,000 vehicles per day as a link between Akron and Kent, but the final portion was never built. We're now taking those overbuilt highways and right-sizing them to better fit and bring people into downtown and give this area a better feel with, with the right balance of vehicular, pedestrians, bicycles, and, and kind of uh, by right-sizing it, it opens up a little bit more land that was, was uh, put into the highway building years. For AMATS, I'm Carrie Prater.